I'm talking today to Kahenia Kimunya of the Able Wireless Company. Kahenia, what's the business idea that you're in the process of getting off the ground? Uh, well, uh, what I'm working on is actually setting up a, a, vo a VOD uh, TV business uh, coupled uh, on, uh, with an internet service and the main idea is to deliver low-cost uh, streaming services uh, to the masses. And how will this be delivered? Uh, this will be delivered uh, over pre-existing infrastructure, internet infrastructure, but the last mile will either be wired or wireless. And what's the box that will do this work? Uh, we've been working with the concept of a Raspberry Pi and we've um, sort of modified a Raspberry Pi and turned it into a set-top box uh, which, with an access wireless access point inbuilt as well. And when you say wireless access point, describe to me how that will work. Uh, basically you have a, a wireless card inside it which is 802.11 uh, BOG and the, the access point basically shoots out a signal uh, across, you know, within the house, uh, which two two devices can jump on and be able to access the internet, basic basic Wi-Fi setup. So, how many people will be able to uh, be serviced by that wireless? Uh, I'm hoping that we, by the end of the first year, uh, we should be able to reach twenty thousand people. Okay. Yes. And but per per aerial, how many people? Uh, per aerial, I'm looking between 25, 20 and twenty-five people. Uh, very very maximum fifty. And what kind of content? are you going to be putting on the platform? Uh, general content that you get uh, at your, I guess, pirate uh, shop. Uh, we'll also be packaging content for uh, YouTube and, and others, uh, basically arranging content to give, give it more value. Specific to the local market? Uh, specific to the local market, uh, as well as uh, live streams from uh, so far Al Jazeera. Uh, we'll get uh, other local content providers to jump on board as well, and they are jumping on board. And it will retail at what for the user? Uh, that's, uh, the box will retail for 500 shillings, uh, that's just about $6. Yeah. yeah, and and the service will cost me what on a monthly basis? Also 500 shillings, uh, $6. So it's at the bottom end of the market? Yes, very bottom end. And tell me a little more about the pirate shops. How much does a pirate video cost well, you? A, a, a normal DVD retails for about 50 shillings. You get some which go sub tier low of 40 shillings. Um, but uh, 50 shillings is the general price and the average spend is run about between five and seven hundred shillings. So where do these people, where will you find these people? What, what areas will they be in? Uh, you literally have to go downtown and there's always a DVD shop somewhere. Um, I was very shocked uh, a couple of months ago, I uh, went back into my village, uh, a village close to my village, and after they got electricity, a month later there were two DVD shops. Right. And this is in a very remote village. And so when will your service launch? Uh, we're looking at sometime in, in November. And what kind of rights are you looking for? Uh, right now, uh, uh, it, well that depends. Do you mean... Uh, 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 program, what kind of program? Program rights. Uh, basically I'm looking to get you know, your common show rights uh, and we're hoping that we'll to work with anybody who's interested in uh, revenue share. Uh, we're giving a very generous portion of the revenue. Um, and we have an open book policy in case anybody wants, doesn't uh, believe that uh, their content is secure and that the numbers actually exist. So, you, you know, all you have to do is call me, ask me, and I'll show it to you. 